My BFI player choice this week is a modern classic which won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film and which Martin Scorsese once told me was one of two movies, the other being Michael Powell's Peeping Tom, that showed everything you need to know about the act of filmmaking. It's a tale told by an artist in crisis about an artist in crisis, a filmmaker who finds himself bereft of inspiration with, ironically, inspirational results. Federico Fellini's Eight and a Half. Marcello Mastriani stars as Fellini's alter ego Guido, the tortured Italian director who wants to make an honest film with no lies of any kind, a film that could be useful to everyone. But Guido is lost, sinking into the marsh of his personal and professional lives which become increasingly confused and intertwined. As his thoughts drift into the past, he finds the ghosts of life in general, and love in particular, coming back to haunt his latest project. Taking its name from the number of films that Fellini himself had completed at that point in his career, Eight and a Half is a self-reflexively autobiographical work. Shot in striking monochrome hues by Gianni Di Venanzo and memorably scored by Nina Rota, it's become that rarest of things, a cultural touchstone which continues to resonate through modern life. You can find its echoes everywhere, from Truffaut's Day for Night to Bob Fosse's All That Jazz, Woody Allen's Stardust Memories, Robert Altman's The Player, Peter Greenaway's Eight and a Half Women, and most recently, Paolo Sorrentino's The Great Beauty. Strangely, the fact that it's so regularly referenced by other films and filmmakers means that you can imagine you've seen Eight and a Half even if you haven't. Like Citizen Kane, it's a movie that everyone knows, or more accurately, that everyone thinks they know. Sight and Sound magazine hailed Eight and a Half as one of the 10 best movies ever made. And the reason it's endured is that every time you watch it, you see something different. Watch it again or watch it for the first time, whichever way, you're bound to be surprised. Mm -hmm. 